Hi there, this is Fakir Yogi Vendri Yogi, a person who has committed himself to inspire millions all over the world to be really successful. And when we talk about success, then success is the progressive realization of your worthy ideals in life. And really, if you want success in any calling, material, spiritual, intellectual, physical, whatsoever, the passage remains the same. To be successful, you must have a definite goal. You should have the alliance partner, the business partner, the person who can stake everything to see that you are true and successful. And then you should be ready to leave no stone unturned, going extra mile, dedicating, committing, striving, seeking, finding different ways and means with perfect plan of action, never quitting, never be discouraged, never allowing fear and doubt to dampen your spirit, retreat, not possible. Burn all the bridges, all the boats and ships, whichever can carry you back. Just going to or die, win or perish attitude. That can only ensure the success of any great person. History is replete with the story of such great men who wanted to do something, but they burned all the bridges, all possible retreat, and that goal was the consuming obsession, a burning desire of his life. Napoleon is a discard about Edwin C. Barnes when he wanted to be the business associate of the great inventor. Addition, he went there with determination, commitment, passion, without having the greatest education, but with a willpower, a burning desire. And you know, he became the greatest salesman of all his product. EAD phone being the first, that is one source of, uh, you know, dictating machine, and then. He become really business partner. So if you have a determination and burning desire, you can be very successful in life. There is no doubt about it, my friend. And so I tell you, every person who wins in any undertaking must be willing to burn his ships and cut all sorts of retreat. Only by so doing can one be sure of maintaining that state of mind known as a burning desire to win, essential to success. Dear friends, now I want to face you live. This is Fakir Yogi Vendri Yogi. A passionate man. A man like a fish out of water. Because I have a lot of headaches, heartaches, failures, defeats. I have seen a lot of trials and tribulations in my life because I was born in a very poor family. No support from any corner. Miserable. Suffering and learn through the vicissitudes of my life some lessons and then I am really telling you be very very serious about your career leave no stone unturned don't have lot of goals there has to be one definite goal at a time and you should know exactly what is the fitting matching things to get that success because there are two things in life. One is effort and other result. And the strength of your effort is exactly to be matched with the measure of the result. The strength of your result, when it matches with the exactly fitting to the result, then only you are going to be successful. There is no such reality as something for nothing. Here is a balancing act. So you can think small, you can think big, you can think very, very big. Everything is possible. It depends on your capacity to think, your ability to think. That's why we see a lot of greatest people. We also see a lot of small people. There are no limitations to the power of the intelligence or the power of the brain. Whatever the mind can conceive and believe the mind can achieve for you. It is your limitations of your courage, conviction, determination and willpower to think what you want to become. But if you have want... If you have want to become a great man, you will be. If you want to achieve little, you have to sacrifice and work hard little. If you want to achieve much, you have to sacrifice much and work harder a longer time. But if you want to achieve highly, you have to sacrifice greatly. But you will be what you will to be. You have to be patient. You have to really understand your willpower, the power of the mind. Because your mind is the master power than Moltz and Max. Mind can give you anything what you want. And you yourself are the maker of yourself, nobody else on earth. 
For that he chose should be win or perish, victory or death, do or die. Single-minded, put all your energy, all your strength, all your might. Failing, falling, defeating, they are all temporary. Unless you quit, quitter never wins, winner never quits. So keep on and be always optimistic, positive mental attitude. And if you really love something, as I love, that goal becomes so magnetic to me. I have so much energy, I have so much of enthusiasm that I can really cross unsurmountable. Impossible can be made possible because there is charm here. There is real passion and love. That's why great achievements and success have been achieved by the great people. History is replete with the story of such great mighty willpower men who created nothing. Out of nothing they created everything. The great business empire, the great discovery inventions, the great literary and poetic achievements because they wanted something unique. The dream, desire, worked hard and things become reality because thought in the mind has made you what you are that you are going to achieve it. That is the real secret of success for anyone. Thought, a dominant thought, a very powerful thought, not hope or wish, but a determined, committed, all pervading, always perpetuating, restless making you, your thought, your desire, burning, consuming obsession. I love you. I am sad that nobody told me all this when I was something like 16 or 20. Today I am more than more than the age when people can do something great. But I have the opportunity to inspire the youngsters, my daughters and sons all over the world. Arise awake and stop not, till whatever dreams and desire that you have achieved and fulfilled. And be contented. Do what you love and like. Bread, butter, shelter, clothes, they are the primary needs. But the most important part of your life is to remain serene, calm, happy. Because that is the ultimate goal of life. Buddha renounced the world. He got enlightenment. He really dreamed of a world of eternal peace, stainless beauty and tranquility. He entered into it by sacrificing everything. That is the ultimate goal of everyone. Peace and happiness. And not only that, I am not contented with my selfishness. My self-peace, I want peace for you. For every daughter and sons of the earth, and even for Putin, Zelensky, Biden, NATO heads, peace for all, birds with animal plants and humans. That is my dream and goal, impossible to achieve. You all have to cooperate with me. Get united and create a world where there is no greed, anger, hatred, jealousy and cynical thought. A world where there is a true justice, peace, love and non-violence. Kindness, compassion, honesty, integrity, humility, generosity, loyalty and cooperation. United we stand. Divided we fall. Hate creates hate. Love creates love. Love yourself. Become enlightened. Become Gautama, Siddhartha, Buddha, Fakir, Yogi, Brand Yogi like me. And work for the people, for the beasts, for the birds, animals, plants. Create heaven on earth for all our serene, calm, poised. All our hours, we have feelings for them. We have to protect them and help them because we are humans. We have brain. We can think. We can think, love, affection, kindness, compassion. Generate your feelings. Start from yourself. Thank you, viewers.